so guys don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the bell notification okay guys so i decided to purchase the 23 and me kit in order to give it a try to learn a little more about my dna so i got the box and as you can see in the back here the first thing it says that you need to do is to uh, register your kit so you have to go online to 23andme dot com slash start to register your saliva collection tube using the barcode so we know it belongs to you we cannot process your sample unless it is registered so that's the first um, item there and then number two it says to spit so it says to follow kit instructions to spit in the tube provided and mail it back to our lab in the box with the pre-paid label and then number three says uh, discover after we analyze your sample we will send you an email to let you know your reports are ready in your online account log in and start discovering what your dna says about you all right so it says here in the kit it has one set of step-by-step -step instructions one saliva collection tube and cap one sample return bag and one prepared return label and box. So let's open it up and, and see uh, see the inside. Yep. Okay, so you slide it out like that. All right. See if you can get a little more light in here. Okay, open it up. Okay. So here we get a little card that says hi, let's get started. Um, all right. And then now we get this little kit here. And this seems to have is there anything else? No, so it, it gives some instructions here. Of course, like I said before, it says before mailing, you need to register your kit. It says otherwise your sample will not be processed. Okay, so first thing it says is no food or drink for 30 minutes. Spit to fill line. Close funnel. Detach funnel. Screw detach funnel and then screw on cap seal in the bag and then mail in kit so that's the instructions there okay so this is it here this is our uh, the oh, let me close this so we can see it back so it has already the mail information there all right so this is the kit here and uh, let's make sure it, have a, it has everything we need, all we need. Right, so this basically tells us the same thing that we just went through there. So you can see it has the bag. This is what you want to put your the tube in. All right. Okay. And you got the little this is the tube here. So you have the spit in there. And this is the fill line here, so you have to spit up to that line. And of course this is a little cap for sealing it after. So I'm going to go ahead and spit into the tube until um, I reach the fill line and um, go ahead and do everything. Okay, so I decided let me share um, some of the more 
uh, in-depth instructions here. So it says, do not eat, drink, smoke or chew gum for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample. Do not remove the plastic film from the funnel lid. Spit into the funnel until the amount of liquid saliva, not bubbles, reaches the fill line shown. Hold the tube upright with one hand. Close the funnel lid with the other as shown by firmly pressing the lid until you hear a loud click. Liquid in the lid will be released into the tube to mix with the saliva. Make sure the lid is closed tightly. Hold the tube upright, unscrew the funnel from the tube and discard. Use the small cap to close the tube tightly. Shake the cap tube for 5 seconds. Place the cap tube into the plastic bag containing the absorbent pad and seal the bag. Do not remove the absorbent pad from the plastic bag. Place the sealed plastic bag into the original box. Peel the strip and seal the box closed and ship. Shipping has been prepared. All right, so that's the um, more detailed instruction. Okay guys, so I was finally able to fill the, it's a bit dark in here, I apologize, but I was finally able to fill it. I must admit it wasn't that easy <laughs> trying to create enough saliva to fill, but anyway, so I, I got it up to the line. So now what you do is that you close the lid like this, there's liquid on top there, so as you close it, it's going to release. So you press it down until you hear the click. Alright, good, and now what they say to do is uh, you have to unscrew the, the um, top part here, which is like the funnel, unscrew that, okay, it's a bit stiff, uh, my hand I need, um, I don't have a grip, it's just, oh boy. Um, let me get something to hold so it doesn't s slide. Okay, so you will unscrew the top here, and this we you discard, and then the cap, which is this that came in the kit, you use that to seal it, close it tightly. All right, good. And now what we do is that we put this here into this bag. Make sure it's closed properly. So we put it into that bag like that. And then we have to um, peel off this sticky thing. Well, we have to peel off this blue thing here. All right, and then we press this together to seal it. All right. And then we have to put it, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have squeezed out some of the, um, the air. So I have to put it in here, but hopefully it should be able to fit. Right. Put it back in there. And then you put it back in the box. And you have to peel here to seal it up. And then, which is there, seal it. And then you just um, take it to the post office and you mail it off. To purchase your 23andMe DNA test kit, you can visit my Amazon affiliate page at www.amazon.com slash shop slash LauraFord1 and be sure to bookmark the page. Okay guys, well I hope this video was helpful in showing you what comes in your DNA kit. And now stay tuned for my next video where you would see my results.